Welcome to my new house! There's been so much going on lately. Building out this van has been a process. All the life stuff that's happened has been a process. That's why I am so thankful to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. You all know the saga of my old van dying out of nowhere, and then more recently the weird phenomena of various social media outlets stealing my content from like a year ago. All of that stuff, plus actively trying to convert a vehicle to live in to hit the road again, has been a tiny bit stressful. BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist, and it's especially amazing because I don't have to do face-to-face, in-person therapy, which as a nomad would not even be an option for me, basically ever. You can do your sessions as a phone call, video chat, or even just messaging if you prefer. You'll be matched to a therapist of over 30,000 in their network, and if for whatever reason that therapist is not a match with you, you can switch at no cost to you, which I have already had to do once solely because the therapist schedule and mine did not align whatsoever, but that's the great thing about BetterHelp. You get to schedule your sessions at whatever time is convenient for you. To get started, you'll fill out a questionnaire to match your specific needs, and then in most cases, you'll be matched with a therapist within 48 hours. As a solo traveler, it has been so nice to essentially have a therapist in my pocket at all times. If you think you'd benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Just click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Vanilla for 10% off your first month. Get connected to a therapist and see if therapy works for you. Now let's take this back to two weeks ago before all of this started. I began my van build with a mostly empty slate. The previous owner did a little bit of insulation, but that was it. Next, I bought everything I needed to build up my van and then made my bed and countertop. I didn't film any of the build. I was at my best friend's parents' house and not everyone wants to be on camera. But after cutting a few pieces of wood and drilling them together, we were done. After that, I was pretty much on my own for the rest of the build, which was okay because I started with my favorite thing to do, staining. Well, good morning. Every day I've been coming out here working on this van. Right now I'm staining, can you see? handsome boy it's freaking hot man where's fall i've been trying to get this done as fast as i can so i haven't really filmed the process because i was thinking in my mind either i get this done as fast as possible that way i can film me getting on the road or i film every step of my van build process make it take twice or maybe even three times as long with all the angles and stuff so instead i've decided it's more important for me to just finish it so i can get on the road so that's what I'm doing. Powered by Boba. So these leather handles I bought look really good. I've got to restain this a little bit darker because if you can see, it just looks not dark enough. I only stained it once, so I'm gonna restain it. All right, so much better. Good morning. Actually, is it a good morning? I don't know. Look at this cat. I see you, kitty. Staring at me. So it seems as if the stain is dry on the bed. Good. So now I can rescrew in the handles. I also don't know if you can tell, but I bought this thin black yoga mat that is the exact dimensions of my bed, 24 by 72, so that my blankets and stuff don't get black stain on them. And also for that non slip grip. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit more staining. I'm just going to stain my countertop that my phone is currently resting on. And then I hope to paint, I hope to paint the bottom and I'm going to paint it a beautiful wood green in honor of my favorite place, the Redwoods. And today I'm going to stain with gloves. Boo. I got this stain to match the floorboards. Thank you. 
I gotta test this first. No! No, wait, no. This isn't correct. This isn't what I want. Why does this look gray? Oh my gosh, I almost stained my freaking countertops this. Okay, so this is not, this is not what I want. No! Okay, well, good thing I tested it. Uh, uh, can I return this? It's actually almost the same. So I cannot finish my plan of staining right now and I can't, I don't want to paint until I stain. I can't do staining or painting, but it's going to drive me crazy if I can't do anything today. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my mattress in here and cut it to size. I also bought an electric turkey carving knife, which is amazing for cutting foam. So I'll hook that up to my power station, cut out a little spot for the wheel well so that my mattress can fit flush. Hopefully it covers the wheel well. Hopefully I accomplished something today. It's too big, which I knew, obviously. So now I gotta cut it. Damn, I was hoping it was just magically gonna be the right size. Test sitting. Oh, it's comfy. Okay, most important thing is it's comfortable. And I can still sit straight up. Okay, cool. Well, all right, I did good. Next, I'm gonna cut a little indentation for the wheel well so it can fit smooth. We'll see how it goes. So I think I'm done cutting my bed. Um, I only cut the bottom piece that the wheel well, the top almost goes on top. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Time to go get my sheets and pillows. Almost done. Good morning. It's very rainy outside today, drizzly, but I finished my bed. Today I'm gonna put the handles back because I finished staining and then I'm also going to do this time to wood glue all my little panels. I have no idea if these are going to be straight or not. We're just going to hope for the best. They're a little crooked. They're a little crooked. They got character. I feel like it's evenly spaced. I feel like I'm doing... I feel like I'm doing it correctly-ish. Last one. Stick, stick, stick. Please. So the paneling is done. I'm just holding this one because it was being difficult. I feel like it's not bad for a lady who just saw this like on Pinterest or something and then decided to give it a go. I think it's going to look really great when I paint over it. It might look a little unevenly spaced, but I did measure out six inches between all of them, except these last two. Had it cheap, but it's fine. It's gonna look fine. I'm about to finish the second to last thing in my van and then I'll be done. I just need to paint this and then do the floor. 
and we're golden. Oh, we did one. Perfect. Ooh, slippery. One down. Oh, there's ants. Many more to go. Okay. Okay, two done. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs>